Welcome to part four of the Power Animal Meditations. Part four is Journeys for Transformation. In this section of the Power Animal Meditations, you can work on situations and problems in your life that require change, learning how to turn adversity into advantage, and how to use the alchemy to create what you want and need in your life. This uh, meditation today is going to be with Butterfly, which is transformation of self-esteem. Butterfly represents metamorphosis, going within to come out whole again. Ancient symbols for the soul, butterflies were thought to be inhabited by the souls of humans while they searched for their incarnation. In classical Greek, the word for butterfly is soul, is the same. The butterfly has also represents freedom. After entering into the dark void of the cocoon, it emerges bright and free, living the great mystery of its metamorphosis. All the stages of its development are displayed predominantly on its fluttering message. The stages of the butterfly's metamorphosis correspond to the stages of human spiritual growth. As the larva, we are still unconscious of all what is right in front of us. We go into the inner depths of ourselves in the cocoon to pupate. And when we break that shell and take flight, we are freed spiritually to share our joy with all the world. Butterflies are also a symbol of fragility, more for the transparency to light than for any intrinsic weakness. They are, however, an indicator species, not strong enough to escape the ravages upon their environments. Because of de deforestation and pesticides, many varieties of the butterflies are becoming extinct. One such species, the Queen Alexandria's bird-winged butterfly, was discovered in Papua New Guinea, by a Danish explorer as recently as 1940. We've barely discovered its existence and know very little about it, yet it's already endangered by encroaching civilization. This bird-winged butterfly has a wingspan of one and a half to two feet in nocturnal in its habits. The males are brilliantly colored with red, turquoise, and gold markings. The Gimme tribe, the butterfly's only human neighbors, is also nearing extinction. Both live in a palm forest near the shore. The palm trees, the primary source of food and shelter for these butterflies, are being disseminated for palm oil. Butterflies stand for freedom and spirit, yet they have long been sought after as specimens for their beauty. The bird winged butterflies are especially desirable because of their immense size. There are now breeding programs designed ostensibly to preserve the species while keeping them enslaved, feeding and materialism of those who would take their souls while piercing their hearts for their display cases. The rainbow butterfly that brought this journey to the cauldron helps build self esteem. People who are afraid to see the real face within their own being spend tremendous energy creating and keeping masks to hide behind. Transformative qualities of the rainbow butterfly make it a great ally for building the kind of self-esteem that allows people to be themselves and to appreciate their own beauty. Take an idea or a concept of what you want to be and how you want to see yourself. Then take this journey and go within. When you break out of your cocoon, you will become that which intended. The costume that the butterfly brings back from within the darkness and mystery of the cocoon is the beauty of the spirit of yourself in all your glory. The metamorphosis of butterfly is about the mystery of what happens when you go within to the darkness to manifest beauty you are born to create. So we're going to start with the alchemy initiation. If you'd like to get comfortable and sit back or lay down, close your eyes and relax and breathe deeply. 
Inhale through the small of your back, filling your belly, and exhale through your tailbone into the earth, deepening your connection to earth, grounding and centering yourself in preparation for your travels into realms beyond space and time. Feel the cycles of your breath. Feel as your body opens to new levels of sensitivity. Now place your hands before you with your palms facing up to receive the gift that is coming to you. It's a purple black egg flecked in gold and it descends from above to rest gently in the palms of your hands. Notice its size and its weight and its substance. This is an etheric egg, an egg of creation. When you are sure of its presence, draw the egg into your abdomen, as though your abdomen is a womb waiting to receive and nurture the egg that you've been given. Now focus your attention on your heart center. Look deep within your heart to find the eternal flame of life that burns within as you focus on your inner heart flame, begin directing love to make it grow and feel as the radiant warmth and light from own heart flame spreads to eliminate your entire being. Bring your attention to the top of your head. Crown is placed gently there around your crown chakra, around the top of your head. Notice what it looks like and how it feels. Notice what it is made of. This crown marks the empowerment you are receiving at this time and provides the portal through which your consciousness travels out of and back into your body. Look once more to see and feel the egg that's been gestating within the womb of your being. Its outer shell is absorbed into your abdominal walls, revealing the golden cauldron within. This cauldron is the source of all life and all wisdom. Feel as it expands to fill your abdomen. Begin to stir the waters of life in your cauldron. As you stir these waters, there's a sound that is generated, like the tone of a Tibetan singing bell or a crystal goblet. The frequency and vibration of gold, which resonates throughout your being, tune to that sound. As you continue to stir the contents of the cauldron, the waters begin to rise. The waters are uplifted until they come into contact with the flame in your heart. There will be a hissing and a bubbling, crackling as the water hits fire and converts to steam. The steam rises. It opens the passageway in your throat, which is the doorway into the shamanic realms, and begins to fill your head. Let your consciousness rise with the steam. Let it merge with the steam in your head. Focus all your attention, all your consciousness within this steam. And as the pressure builds, the steam will lift your consciousness right up out of your body and through your crown. When you've passed through your crown, look to your left and you'll see Toth, the being who is your guide and guardian for the journeys of the cauldron. Greet this being with respect. As you look into his eyes, let yourself experience a sense of connection with Toth in whatever form as naturally takes. God asks you, why are you here? 
you may feel your heart and mind opening as questions and thoughts that you have had for a long time begin rising to the surface. You may be surprised at the depth of emotion you feel as your questions and answers formulate. Pay attention to the responses you receive from Toth. Toth will ask you if this is the path you're choosing to take at this time in your life. He'll take you on a journey now to give you a glimpse of the possibilities of the cauldron and the assistance that is available within. And as you're in the steam that's coming out of your crown, it will be into a very fine beam of light. This beam through your crown, you enter a cocoon, guided and protected by Toth. Within this cocoon, you are gently and softly held in place, as though wrapped in soft, crystalline gauze. An ever-present heartbeat marks time as you pupate in your silken womb. Approaching the final stage of metamorphosis, you can see reflections or flickering colored lights, which are the radiance of yourself against the crystalline fibers of the cocoon, providing an opportunity to glimpse your inner beauty. There is a passing of energy as this radiance hits the fibers of the cocoon. It bounces back and mirrors the divine creation that you are, literally recoding through self-esteem. Enjoy and bask in this radiance and brightness of colors that penetrates the darkness of your cocoon. The walls of the cocoon start to disintegrate. As they fall away, you begin to stretch your wings. This is a slow process, for you are wet and need time to dry. Open your arms wide and experience your colorful wings as they unfurl. They are exquisite. Feel the energy in them and delight in their colorful patterns. Enjoy the exhilaration as your bonds are lifted and you release yourself to flight. You are a magnificent butterfly. This form stays with you always. Take some time now to experience your flight. You are magnificent. While you experience your flight, while you dance in the sunlight like a flying flower. When you are ready, wrap your butterfly wings around your body and slide back into your human form taking the radiance of your beautiful butterfly with you. Take a moment to thank Toth and share your experience with him.
Now Toth will assist you back into ordinary consciousness by entering through the crown. Take a moment before you open your eyes and make sure you ground and drink lots of water after the meditation.